different spaces, an elevator may not be the best choice for you. Thoughts and secrets of others are not easily They may surprise, delight, or even frighten. As stories are revealed in the dark elevator, Space and time often take on a different meaning. Enter at your own risk. Portrait of a Busham goose-stepping predecessor. He searches for something to explain his hunger. When Mike Myers was here a few weeks ago, he spoke very eloquently and hilariously in praise of what he calls silly. Mm -hmm. Do you know how he collapses onto the bench? No, baby, no! Welcome to Manja Music Show with the two Tonys. Tony, what are we serving today? Oh, today I'm going to do one of my favorite menus. It's going to be lasagna. Ah. The lasagna is going to be loaded with lots of cheese, mozzarella, parmigiano, lasagna, and lots of turkey. Oh, no, no, this is going to be fantastic. Let's leave Italy and let's head to the kitchen in Rancho Mirage right now. We are Wise Guys Cooking. We are Wise Guys Cooking. Thanks for watching Wise Guys Cooking. Hey Frank, it's Tony Pomponio. Hey listen, I'm heading over to Angelo's. I talked to Chef Vito today 
And he told me, come on down. You got some great food, and uh, they got a bocce court, and uh, you know what? I think you're going to have some, a good time. Get over here. Hey, Tony. What the heck? How you get here so fast? You said it. Food, bocce, all of it. That's a talk. I don't need to waste any time about that. So let's go in and have some good food. Well, let's get this party started. All right. See, my son, Dino, who had a little band of his own, and he fell in love with the Beatles. And they were, in Billboard, they, was all, they were always number one. Every week, number one. And one day I recorded a song called Everybody Loves Somebody, which happens to be my theme song now. And after, oh, about six weeks of the song being out, I looked at Billboard and I was number one and the Beatles were number two. And it said, Beatle Breaker Martin. Everybody loves somebody sometimes. 
Everybody falls in love somehow Something in your kiss just told me That sometime is now I just won the world title in New York, and the producer of the Matt Helm movies was in the audience. And uh, he came up to me after I'd finished, after I'd won the title, and said, asked me if I'd want to be in a movie. And I said, you know, of course. <laughs> I said, yeah. And he said, all right, you're going to play in this uh, Matt Helm movie with Dean Martin, and you're going to do a fight scene, and you're going to be Elkie Summers' bodyguard. So that's how I got my SAG card, as a matter of fact. And uh, so I did this fight with Dean Martin, and I did the fight with his double first. And then I had to do the close-ups with Dean Martin. And the scene called for me to throw a kick over Dean Martin's head. So I said, now you're going you're gonna to drop down, right? And I'm going to kick over your head. And he says, yeah. So I throw the kick, and he didn't drop down. I hit him in the shoulder, and he went flying across the room. So uh, that was my introduction to Dean Martin. He came back, we did it again, and it worked out all right the second time. But that's how I got my start in the film business. <laughs>
Ciao a tutti, welcome to Mangia Music Show with the two Tonys. Tony, what are we serving today? Oh, today I'm going to do one of my favorite menus. It's going to be lasagna. The lasagna is going to be loaded with lots of cheese, mozzarella, parmigiano, lasagna, and lots of turkey. Oh, no, no, this is going to be fantastic. We are Wise Guys Cooking. We are Wise Guys Cooking. Thanks for watching Wise Guys Cooking.
Way back in 1944, I was a skinny 18-year-old who participated in the frantic invasion of France and Normandy. As a member of the 607th Graves Registration Company, the horrors of war are seared in my memory. I broke down uh, once about two or three weeks in, still in Normandy. Our lieutenant pulled out his 45 and pointed it at me and he said, get your ass out there and suck it up. Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. I was, I was I'm Tom Brokaw. Star in Operation Crossbow on NBC Saturday Night. The following program. It was December 8, 1963, and by the time I arrived in Reno, it was 12 hours after I got the call. This was not going to be an average day at the office. He's been kidnapped from his hotel room at the Harris Club in South Lake Tahoe. As Frank Sinatra's publicist, I had to swing into action. It turned out 19-year-old Frank Jr was sitting in his underwear eating a chicken dinner before a show when men masquerading as room service waiters broke into his hotel room and took him. We're standing here in front of Piera's Pizza Vino on El Paseo. What's your name, sir? My name is Chuck Gabriel, and I've got two things to say. It's great to be above the ground, and I lost my wife last week. Oh, my. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, if anybody finds her, please tell her that the dishes are piling up in the sink, and I can't find my underwear.
smoke and dust and debris at Queen's Hairpin. This is where all the action is taking place and that looks like too much action.